back. I'm joined this morning by uh, Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, and we're also here with the mother of one of the victims that's previewing the event that we're talking about this coming week. It's one of the biggest events for the District Attorney's Office as far as getting the public involved. Do you want to tell us about that? Yes, on Tuesday, April 9th, mm -hmm. we're going to be having the seventh annual Victims Rights March. Mm -hmm. We'll be gathering at the Liberty Bell at four. We'll be having a ceremony at five. We'll walk together to Mill Creek Park where we'll have a visual and prayer for um, victims of crime. Right, and this is the first time that you host one of these as the district attorney, but you've been working with the gang unit for years uh, in the Kern County DA's office. So tell me a little bit about why that kind of poses a connection for you. You know a lot of these victims' families. Um, I imagine that you have a real personal connection with this. Well, yes, this mm -hmm. is our first year that we are going to emphasize unsolved homicides. Right. Uh, in the last two years, 50% of our homicides are unsolved. So there are a lot of victims out there that we want to um, pray for, mm -hmm. um, let them know we love them, we care about them, and there is hope that their cases can be solved. Right, and one of those victims is Jessica, um, and we're joined by Nellie Mesa, your daughter. Tell us a little bit about her story and why this means so much to you. I know you come out every single year. Uh, Jessica was um, kidnapped May 10th, 1990 and she was four years old, she had just turned four. Mm -hmm. um, they took her two weeks later, and to this day it's been 29 years, and her case is unsolved. So yes, this means a lot to me. It's a constant reminder of her case not being solved. Mm -hmm. And you come out year after year. We spoke to you last year. You said you, you just have not given up hope. Why is that? Why are you able to hold on to hope? Oh, I, I, I I'm her voice, mm -hmm. and um, it's my job as her mother to get justice for Jessica. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and so um, that relationship with the district attorney's office, why is that so important in um, getting Jessica's case solved? It's, it brings us together, and they're, they're out helping us, and it's their, it, this organization is so huge, and it's for us victims and families, um, reminder of that we're not alone, and we all get together, and we we feel each other's pain. So yes, it's it's. I am so very happy that DA's is taking a big part of it, and it's each year it's getting bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And with the emphasis on unsolved cases this year, what does that mean to you? That, that you're oh, just really not being forgotten. You no, know, I have mm -hmm. so much hope. I've always had hope, and now it's even more. I said, mm -hmm. and I want to give hope to other people, not to give up. It's it's just so important that they have a. Uh, cold case unit open now and that there are focusing on cold cases right. that just huge that's huge for me and my family right so we have this emphasis that we're going to see next week on cold cases but tell me about the inner workings of the DA's office and what that means for cold cases inside the DA's well, office. well it is really important and the public needs to know we are solving um, cold cases we had a conviction last month on a murder that was 18 years old um, we need the public to know that they can call, they can remain anonymous. We'd love for them, if, if anyone has information, to call Secret Witness at 322-4040. And there have been advances in technology, especially in the area of DNA, that we have the ability now to solve cases that we couldn't solve years before. So we would like everyone, if they know something, please think about it, give us a call, give Secret Witness a call and just come out and support these victims of unsolved cases. They are not forgotten. Yeah, and what would you say to a victim's family who's out there, they're mourning by themselves, they've never been to this event before, what would you say to them? Please come. Mm -hmm. we, we'd like them to, uh, to know that we care about them and that we're working on their cases. Um, homicides are never, uh, we never stop working on them. We will always continue to work on them. If we have tips or new information, we can always reopen cases. Yeah, and these people are remembered every day. This is just another reminder of that you really see as a visual all those pictures out there, just how many victims. It's we hard have enough here. to have a loved one killed, but to have mm -hmm. a loved one killed and their killers never brought to justice is just very, very difficult. Yeah, and so we have all that information on our website, turn to 23.com, on when that event's taking place, the time, and everything, and how people can get involved. Thank you so much for joining us. This morning, Thank ladies. you. Thank Thanks. you for having us. We're going to send things over to Emma now.